and welcome to probably one of the most expensive crafty hauls I have done. And the worst thing about this crafty haul that costs $405 Canadian, <gasps> yeah you heard, is that I placed this order back in December and only now am I opening it because really excited to open this box because it is full of amazing th wait I can't even say it's full of amazing things cuz I'm pretty sure I forgot what I ordered and so today I want to unbox and rediscover what I ordered in here with you since new to me now too in all honesty I ordered this package from Sophie and Toffee not sponsored not affiliated but it is one of my favorite companies to order craft supplies especially resin type kits and supplies and crafty things so if you're ever interested I'll leave the link down below remember there's nothing in it for me I just like to share my things resin crafting was one of my favorite types of crafts to make what you're doing is you're using this liquid that when you harden it with UV light or natural sunlight it hardens to become this glassy type plastic you can make so many amazing things, like miniature environments, you can make little lakes, you can even make tiny figurines if you wanted to. The possibilities are pretty endless. And I really do miss making resin type crafts on this channel, so I figured, hey, this could be a good time for me to make some orders and make some really cool projects. So I will be asking you for your help and your input because I will show you the material and give you my idea and then I'd love to hear from you. So make sure you keep that comment section ready because I want to hear your input because you greens are smarter than I am. Of course they're, of course smarter, they're smarter than, than you. you. You're, you're, you're not, not the brightest, the brightest cookie, cookie ever. ever. Like, I guess that, that was kind of rude. For those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I will wave this sharp pointy thing at you. Don't make me do it. And while you're there, press all notifications. So I'm not gonna discriminate, I'm just gonna take my little hands and put it in the box and take something out, and that'll be the first thing we're gonna look at. Oh! 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 That's so true, I remember this! The first thing that comes out is a mold. I know this doesn't look like much, but this is a two-piece Japanese mold that turns into a boba cup. Here's an example of what it's supposed to look like. And if you don't know what boba is, cue smexy music, cue smexy b-roll. Boba is a drink that is sometimes milky, sometimes tea-like, and it has these little tapiocas on the inside. They could also have jelly, but trust me, it is one of the most delicious things ever. If you haven't had boba, get yourself to the nearest Chinatown and get yourself some boba. And if you do like boba, let me know what's your favorite flavor in the comment section below. Personally, my favorite flavor is either watermelon or honey honeydew. Wow, why did I enunciate to H so much? So I'm really excited to try and make miniature drinks and we have three different sizes of cups and as you can see it hollows up because we get this in here and it kind of makes that glass looking thing really excited to try this out and the back label actually does turn into an instructional sheet oh those labels are so cute oh I want some did they provide some no they didn't now even though these are just the cups I also bought the domes and straws Why is this packaging so fragile? <laughs> One eternity later. And as you can see, we have two different types of cover, the dome and the flat ones. But we also have some really cute struts. So these are what the flat ones look like. The domes are pretty much like the cups where it's kind of hollowed out this way. We're gonna try it out, don't worry, I got you. And then interestingly enough, the Straws come in two pieces? I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and make a cup. Let's go with medium and I do have quite a bit of different colors too, but I'm kind of feeling pink today, so. So in order to make this little cup, I'm going to add a couple of drops of colorant to the UV resin, mix it up, pour it inside our little mold, and now it's time to put a rubber bang. So I have no idea what the measurement is supposed to be before it overflows hardcore, so this one's about four-fifths of the way, and this one's just a little over half, and that is why I have this silicone mat to protect me from myself. 
because the greatest danger to me is myself. How's this gonna, oh, this is, oh, oh, I knew this was going to overflow, but I did nothing about it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, but at least it's good to know that even halfway through is too much. Look at all that overflow, rubber banding time. Now, even though we can put it outside in the, the direct sunlight and it'll harden in about half an hour, I like taking the quick route, which is a UV light. So instead of 30 minutes, it's more like one minute. Oh, what'd you do? Confess. Confess to me. Otherwise, the sharp pointy thing is back. <laughs> All right, and time to remove the rubber band. I feel like I put too much of the pressure here, so this one kind of stayed up. Good job, Jackie. Quite the cookie. See, I told, See, I told you, you you're not, you're that, not that, smart. that smart. Why don't, Why you, don't just you just listen? listen. I'm super excited to see this. I hope I put the light on enough. Otherwise, we'll just have to go back and reheat it. Oh, hello. Okay, so these are extras. And pushing it out. <gasps> oh, oh, these are so cute. There aren't even any of those little lines, so we don't have to sand anything. There are a couple of tiny air bubbles, but I think you can get away with it. And we don't even have to kind of trim the top. If you do use the rubber band, it's definitely a way better method. And the second one, as you can see, since there wasn't enough pressure on this side because the rubber band was all over there, it didn't complete the cup. So, come out, you. I said come out. So there really wasn't enough pressure to finish this cup. That's good to know. This one... Is no good. But if you do put enough pressure, the outer rims that we don't need come off easily. Oh, that is really cute. I really, really like this. Since I wanted to try the tiny one, here's what it's like. So obviously putting a little more than half is better because just didn't have enough. Oh my God, come out. Oh, this is so tiny. There. Oh, oh, that is so tiny and precious. So I'm a little uneven, <laughs> but it's cute. And the next thing we have is bubble wrap hearts. Let's look at them. So I love the fact that when Sophie and Toffee packs, it's like hearts and rainbows, even though I am dark in my soul. I really, really do like colorful things. I don't know why. It's like a confused identity. All right, so I have no idea what's in here. What is that? Oh, that's true. I forgot I ordered these. Oh, I am so happy. <laughs> Whoops. Look at all my glorious colors. Everything from every shade of the, of the rainbow to my blacks and whites and my browns. What you see here is UV resin. You know how we made that cup by putting in the clear liquid and then coloring it? Well, this here is already colored resin. So the liquids inside these things is already colored. And let me demonstrate. So let's swatch just six of them. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. How many are there? 18? I think there's 18. All right, so let's start with royal blue. I say quite fancy. One eternity later. And here is royal blue. And here goes the light. And as you can see, it gets slightly darker once it's hardened. That is really pretty. I wouldn't call it royal blue. I'd call it still like a sky blue. Purple. Apple green. Fuchsia. Hmm, fuchsia is quite orangey. Carnation, which is supposed to be a later orange. If there's one thing I would really like for Sophie and Toffee to do, actually more than one thing, these nozzles are a pain in the butt to squeeze out of. I know they're supposed to be very fine, but at the cost of hurting my thumb. So they're very uncomfortable, these little bottles. And the other thing I'd love to see is for the colors that are coming out to match the actual labels, because this ain't, this ain't fuchsia. This ain't the same color. A yellow. And oh, where's the yellow? Where'd you go? 
Here are the couple of colors swatched and again they are hardened with the UV light. I would really love to see those changes on these bottles because I really like solid colors. Hence why I like getting pigment dyes. And the other items I ordered are the clear resins. Pretty much the same one we used at the beginning and then colored it. Because I find I have way more control over the tone and the darkness. <laughs> I mean, like the darkness of color. No, the darkness in my soul. No, I said I mean the color. But you mean soul too sometimes, right? But, all right. That pleases me. All right, so now we have another big bag. This one wasn't taped, but again, we have the itty bitty little heart bubbles. What's inside? Oh, too many, too many. I'm gonna put some away now. And we're gonna start with these, because they're colorful, and I felt like it. So this thing caught my attention because it's called Cloud Clay, which is an air dry kind of Play-Doh. Think of it that way. And it's supposed to be super stretchy. I've never used this kind of clay before. So let's try it out together. Oh, oh, what? Oh, that is really stretchy. So let's look a little closer. Oh, look at that. I really like this effect. And the good thing about it is that it doesn't feel sticky at all. It is a little wet. I don't know what kind of detail we could get. Probably not much, but it is super stretchy. And I'm sure you can get some really cool effects in the resin. It borderline feels like putty. Impressive. And in the back, it does say yellow stretchy slime cloud clay. That is quite the mouthful. For those of you who are into slime, let me know what is this particular, specifically is the word I was looking for. English? Elaborate. Specifically. What do you use this for? Is it just for added texture in slime? Because I feel like it could be a really cool effect inside resin itself. But then again, I don't know why I got so many colors. I think I initially only wanted white and brown but they ran out of white. So instead of getting just one color, I got all the colors of the rainbow. Are you like that? They run out of one color, you just get all the rest. <laughs> and I didn't even want them. So I got two different yellows. This one is slightly darker. Three different blues, red, orange, pink, green, and purple. I wonder if they feel different from different colors. Smells like nothing. Next, we have fairy lights. The, the tiny, cute little lights. This one is rainbow. That is really cool. I did not know I ordered that one. Is battery included? I don't know. <gasps> we need to turn the lights off. Wait. All right, I just need to remember where the switch is. And let's go for Aziz. Light. All right, I'm going to turn the light back on and... <gasps> Oh, that is magical and pretty. I should probably unwind this. <gasps> that is so cool. Army good. I should craft only in the dark. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see me crafting in the dark. Am I, am I doing this wrong? Probably. So the rainbow color pretty much consists of blue, orange, green, and pink. And these colors pretty much just repeat themselves. That is pretty. Oh, I love you. And the other one that I ordered is just blue. Let's see if it's the same blue. Oh, oh, I think that is a deeper blue. That is really nice, very magical. I really like that one too. Let me know which one do you prefer? Do you prefer just a solid color or does the rainbow one tickle your fancy a little bit more? The next thing I ordered, which I totally forgot about and now I'm now I'm really excited to try. For those of you who wanna say, Jakey, these are just broken pieces of wood. Stop it. There used to be a really huge trend for a kind of jewelry and a kind of decor called secret wood. They were so trendy that even I made a clay tutorial mimicking that technique. Many of them were in the forms of rings and I even turned it into a heart with a whale on the inside, orca. And I've never really tried it with actual pieces of wood, so I got a neutral type brown. And then I got two reddish type browns. The only thing I didn't seem to think of is I would need a mold to fit these pieces in so that the resin just doesn't keep going everywhere. Although, you could use tape. You want to use tape? You know what? I'll just show you. I'm gonna help you grains learn how to do it. 
The really neat thing about cracked kind of wood is that it looks like a tiny city. And so the idea of a secret wood kind of environment is so magical and absolutely beautiful. I need you to look at me straight in the eyes and tell me you promise you will not judge me. I have an obsession, but I promise first. I promise. My biggest crafting obsession has always been molds. I always want more than I eventually would ever use. Do you have an obsession like that? I do. So. And so I went ahead and ordered myself a salt ton of molds. But Jackie, what kind of molds did you get? I am very glad you asked. Maybe you didn't. Let's pretend you did. <laughs> so I'm going to start with these ones. The ones I am most excited about because I have a really cool project that I'm going to need your help for. The ones you saw at the beginning of the video are the Japanese versions. I believe these ones are the Sophie and Toffee versions. For example, here we have a kind of Starbucks mold and we even get the really cute lid on top. I'll post pictures of what the final product should look like right on screen. I'll tell you why I need your help. Just wait, see first our options and then we'll get to that. Next we have drink jars. In the same line, we have mason jars for drinking. So you could probably make a really cool smoothie in there. And the biggest difference between these ones and the Japanese ones is that these ones, for some weird reason, the sides open. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of that because I really do prefer just pouring from the top and putting this in. But the fact that the sides open might mean that it's not that stable, but I guess we'll find out once we start making them in another video. But don't look at these mason jars and not tell me how cute they are. They're cute. And then we get kind of like long latte cups or maybe even beer mugs. Depends what you want to put in there. And then we have these tall fancy glasses. And let's not forget ice cubes. Heck yeah. Molds for ice cubes. Please. And the next one is kind of a coffee cup. So it's like a very short mug, maybe a cappuccino. So now that you've seen all of these different kinds of cups and potential drinks, what I need your help with is I would love to turn YouTubers into their drink. So let me know in the comment section below what YouTuber would you think is their drink and the color of the drink. I mean, if they have dyed hair, maybe the drink is that base color. And if they're feisty, maybe they're like a fireball. So they would have different colors and different elements and different decorations in there. So let me know. I feel like I could probably do about four to five in one video, which would make it pretty fun. Next is a mold of a plate. So you kind of just got to pour it upside down. Two different sizes of pots. And I don't mean this pot. No, I mean like Ms. Pots from Beauty and the Beast. And because I love making sculptures with different sizes of eyes, this is the perfect mold to use so that you can, you know, have more than just one eye size. So here are the different things I picked up as a crafty haul. I really do have quite a bit of different ideas that I would love to do. All suggestions are welcome down below. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, check down here. And if you want to watch for some reason some old school nerdy crafter, I'll list some in the description box. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.